No. Uh, elephantitis is when something grows as big as an elephant. No. I do not know it. No, I do not. Uh, no, I don't know exactly what it is. Um, something to do with the lymph nodes. Yeah. So, what cleans your blood and filters your blood out. I know that the lymph system has something to do with immune resistance. That's pretty much it. So it's a disease that causes your, you know, to disfigure your face and stuff, it, like causes tumors and underneath your skin. I, I think it has something to do with being deformed in some way when you're born. When we kiss there perfectly They are transferred to humans through mosquito bites, where the larvae that are inserted into the body travel to the lymphatic system. Currently, about 120 million are affected by this disease that is present in 81 countries, primarily Africa, India, and Southeast Asia. About one third of those people suffer from serious incapacitation and disfigurement. It is also the leading cause of disability on a global scale. In addition, lymphatic filariasis is also a neglected tropical disease, meaning that it is part of a group of diseases that cause tremendous suffering due to its disfiguring, debilitating, and sometimes deadly impact. They are called neglected diseases because they are often overlooked by drug developers or others instrumental in gaining proper drug access. This is due in part because they do not affect people in the United States or other developed nations, persisting in only the poorest, most marginalized communities and conflict areas. The recommended regimen for treatment through the Mass Drug Administration is a single dose of two medicines given together, a benzodoli and diethylcarbamazine. Together, they cost less than 50 cents per person treated. For just 50 cents, this neglected disease can get the eradication it desperately deserves.